Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have an exciting big update to our Divi Events Calendar plugin. So let's take a look at everything that's new. And if you're catching this on YouTube, you can click the link in the description to see the whole uh, blog post right up here. Um, so this is a big update. Um, it's kind of one of those that's not, um, doesn't look like hugely glamorous on the surface, but um, there are a lot of changes and improvements, new features here, okay? Okay, so the first one is a combination of combining settings that we already had. Uh, we had like dynamic events or featured events, things like that. So we combined them all into one drop-down setting. I'll just show you that really quick here. So basically in the events feed and events calendar, uh, we could say all events, right? And that way all the events that are on the website that meet the other criteria will show. Um, we have dynamic events, you know, that's for on the theme builder templates. Related events is new. Um, it's more of, it's more or less just a new setting, but not a new feature, if that makes sense. Um, if you put the events feed module on a single event page template, right? Um, you would want to choose related events, you know, when you, and you might show, show uh, three of them, right? Like at the bottom, of your event, you know, here's three more events you might like. That kind of that kind of thing, right? That's what that's for. Um, featured events. Um, so when you actually mark an event featured, and again, these are all most of these are things that we already had. But custom event selection that would have been like when you could choose the category before, right? Well, now you have to choose that, um, and it will bring these options up, right? But we've added organizers, venues and date range so a start and end date range so this is this is actually really big it's kind of like filters in the back end okay if that makes sense so you know you might want to only show things in a certain category or you may want to say hey here's everything happening between these dates or you know from this organizer or from this venue all right so we think that this is a nice update um, and we're continuing to plan ahead and we're, we always are laying you know, the foundation for future things. So in the future, I want to do more of like a, like a this, this uh, today, this week, this month, that kind of thing. Um, so we'll work on that also. But anyway, so this new update includes this new event selection setting. Uh, let's see, right here is just more talk about what I just showed you. The next big thing is, well, the events calendar added a status. Let me show you that. All right, so here I am just on a regular event in the back end here. Uh, let's see, right here on the side, event status, okay? So it says set status and it's on schedule. Schedule just means like normal. It's it's gonna happen. <laughs> um, the new option, well, this whole thing is new, but scheduled would be default, but then you can do canceled, and then you could say the reason, you know, whatever the reason is, or postpone, okay? And then you can do the reason for both of them. So when you do that, when you mark an event canceled or postponed, well, then we have to indicate that to the user. Again, this is a new feature in the events calendar plugin, our core plugin, their core plugin. Now we've added settings for ours. Right here, you can see. So this one is marked canceled right here. See that? And this one is uh, marked postponed. Same thing here. Right here, you can see that this says postponed. That's because I've added this in the events page module. So like right here, this is the um, on a single event page. See how I can say show event status notice um, and then the reason, okay? And then I could also design this notice, you know, however I want, right? With Divi settings. So this is all new. Then the events page here, um, the notices, okay? New notices toggle. And then like I was showing you just on the um, events feed, here and the same thing with the calendar, which I don't have up at the second, but you get the idea. So that's a, a couple of different, there, there are a lot of settings because it's in the different modules, but they're all related to that new feature in the events calendar, okay? All right, and now this one, these next two are for pro users only. And when I'm saying pro, I mean the events calendar pro. Um, you don't need that their pro version, but if you do for recurring events or or venue and organizer pages, then we support some of those settings. Okay, 
So some of those things that we're adding to our plugin gradually to add support for their premium plugins, okay? Our original intention was always for the free version, but we're gradually adding features that would help pro versions um, users as well. Okay, so here's one. So actually, let me show you. In the theme builder templates, I can, when you have the pro version installed right here, um, now there's templates for all organizers and all venues, right? And then inside that template, now the events page and the events calendar modules will show only events related to that um, venue or organizer, just like the category pages work. So if you're familiar with the categories, you know, you add the module, turn on dynamic events, make sure that's on. And then when someone views that category or now that venue or organizer, they'll see only the events in that calendar and that feed based on that, okay? So then we've also added these links. So remember in the 2.2 update, we added all these really nice link settings. Well, here we've added more. Uh, let me show you that. Right here, like right here, I could click to go to this organizer, right, or venue, and it would come to that page. And then any, uh, any events, you can see that this organizer has this one event and it would show down here um, September, so let's see, right there. Okay, so it's kind of um, dynamic, and again, these are for the pro. We also added a link target option for the category. Sometimes you wanna open the category link in a new page. And a, a little update was adding a column after the, the details on the labels. And that would be in the details right here. All the way at the bottom, show colon after labels. You can see it changing right there. Another one that we missed, we added all of these location settings, I think in our last update. So when I turn on location, right? Right here is location. Then we have location, street address, locality, state and province. We missed that one. We missed this one. So these other ones we had in 2.2 and we missed state. So we've added that. Time zone abbreviations, so if you don't want to say America slash New York, you might want to say EST. And you can do that with the PHP, but it was not working um, in the events calendar. So we've added the ability, and now you can do a capital T. And it'll say like, um, well, let me show you. Like right here, uh, time format, like right here. You'd put your custom time format in, then notice that T, and that would be for the, um, right here, EST. Then you would want to make sure to turn off show time zone because that would be like an additional one. It would be double because you're putting it here. So you can see it says EST. Now, if I did not have that and then I had time zone on, it's going to say like the UTC or it's going to say um, America, New York, whatever. So that's, that's a nice thing. And we've done that for all the modules, events feed, events calendar, events page. Another little feature in the events calendar is a, a toggle. We've... It's not really any new feature. It's, a, it's another one of those um, new settings, but not a new feature. Where is it? Right here. These settings were here before, and now I've just added a toggle for them. We already talked about that. Okay, so again, we talked about the cancel and postpone things. Um, so the same thing applies for the filter, the events filter module that we introduced in 2.2. So now we have um, status. So I can go in here, right, any time and click here and then choose status. Status, then, you know, I can choose single or multi, right? Um, and I already had it in here, but basically now I can filter by scheduled, canceled, or postponed, right? So it's just nice. It keeps everything together. I wanted to include that kind of, we did it last minute kind of more because, you know, um, like here, you can see I can choose to show just, I don't, you know, let's, let's say I didn't want to see any of the canceled or postponed events, right? Well, then just show scheduled, right? And so it's kind of a nice feature. Keeps everything consistent, right? Across all the modules. Oh, another one in there. I totally forgot. In the filters, you can set to, in the events feed, to show future or past events. We've just added a feature to the filter to match that. The point is, you don't want to have, like, the events feed set to past, like for to show past events, and then the filter is trying to filter future, right? <laughs> so um, 
that's all this is. It's a new setting right here. So that's that's what that means. Uh, for now, we're gonna add on to that. Just just wait. Um, a brand new module. How how often do I get to say that? Well, it's the seventh one, and um, it's very simple and very basic. Please bear with us. We do not have any like design settings yet. Um, but I wanted to get it out. You can see what it looks like. It's subscribe. Again, this is something that the events calendar added a subscribe feature. So we're just obviously hooking into their their setting to do that and making a module for it. And, uh, and we'll, we'll improve that. Um, bear with us. Uh, if you need any styling help, um, we'll put up a page for that or something. But anyway, there's a bunch of other little fixes and changes. You know, you can check our change log. In fact, here it is. It's pretty long. Um, that includes like bug fixes too and stuff like that and anything that we've changed. I, I try to write down even if we change the label name of something because you know that helps you uh, understand everything that changed. Now here's the another big set of news. We, we're moving everything to its own product website. In fact the change log is at diviEventsCalendar.com and um, it, formerly we had the demos here. We had the demos um, on this website and that was it it was like a demo website and then the more I thought about it, I was like you know what it's getting so hard to manage everything on PA creative because I have all my other products and if you really think about it a lot of products already have their own website because they're so full featured so what I'm gonna do I'm in the process but so like so far here you can click on which demo you want to see and then we have this show up or if I want to click on documentation that's all here now it's all at diviEventsCalendar.com now slash docs right um, right here is getting started if you click on getting started it's gonna feel pretty similar to how it was before um, here's all the things and stuff um, features what I'm gonna do there I started it but um, like let's say I click on events feed so I'm at diviEventsCounter.com slash features slash events feed module some stuff about it here's the video and, and we'll add more that's that's my plan to make this website the full product website and that's it. Uh, if you're not a customer yet, absolutely um, check it out. And it's a good value. It's a really good deal for what you're getting. And I'm telling you what, we, I, I've been doing, um, <laughs> I guess you could say like a, a planning brainstorming session for the last couple of weeks and just planning away. Uh, I have a lot of ideas for this plugin and it's going to take some time, unfortunately. Um, but keep bearing with us and you know, I think it's mature. Like, I think that's fair. Uh, do you agree with that? Like, I think the plugin is mature. Like, we're and some of these things we're keeping up with the events calendar, um, adding some new things. Um, I do want to add a maps module. I want you to be able to like move around the map, and the events feed will change. We're gonna do uh, the next update is gonna be a lot of more improvements. Um, but then, you know, in a year from now, with the changes coming to Divi. Um, you'll need to check my blog post about that, but um, we will need to rebuild modules. So I'm actually thinking ahead of what does that look like if I was to create a whole new uh, set of modules for this plugin. So uh, yeah, that's a little teaser. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this update. Let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see you all in our next video.